Aloha headsets, it's your boy. Damn it, Frank, not again. Frank, and it's time for your daily review. Now, Farpoint has a patch out. Finally, the lefty patch is here. Patch 1.04 fixes some matchmaking issues, as well as a couple other bugs. But like I said before, the most important thing is that lefties now can switch these sticks to make it a much better experience, which is awesome. Also, speaking of Farpoint, check it out. I got my aim controller finally skinned. If you'd like to grab one of these, Flaming Toast has got them for you, $19.99 plus. If you enter the code PSVR Frank at checkout, you're going to get 10% off. Now, who could beat that? I mean, come on. All right, enough about Farpoint. We got some great new games headed our way. First up is Gunheart. This one looks awesome. Three-player online co-op, first-person shooting, sadly, teleportation. But the thing is, it's going to have a lot of verticality. You'll be chasing people around. Very cool. Also, they said the AI is going to be very reactive, so you can't just jump behind them and blast them in the back. They're going to know you're there. So it's going to be a little bit more cunning from the trailer. Looks awesome. It's some veterans from Epic and Microsoft games, so I'm definitely interested. Although it's coming out on the Vive and Rift this summer, we're going to get it later this year, so I can't wait to play. Next up, Archangel. We talked about this one months ago, but finally we get a little more information. Now, we're going to have a two-week exclusivity with this baby over the Vibe and Rift, which is pretty awesome. It's a wave-based shooter, but at least in this one, you're piloting a giant mech. And you're going to have different environments. You're going to be able to get XP and upgrade the mech. It looks pretty cool. They're working on visual fidelity. Said this is an engaging storyline, but hey, I wonder how engaging it can be. Gunjack had a story line so i'm not really looking forward to that aspect of it i'm just looking forward to the gameplay which i'm pretty sure should be cool although all we've seen are these screenshots so far and if it's coming out soon like july soon and where's the trailer all right, the next one isn't a no game per se, but if you like Summer Lesson, then we got a blonde Summer Lesson coming your way. Yes, this one is Allison, something about gardening, and it's coming out pretty soon. I think it's the exact same thing as the previous one, and this one just seems like you're controlling a blonde girl, which if that's up your rally, then hey, more power to ya. All right, the persistence, which I cannot wait to play with you guys because hopefully you'll be able to control the world that I'm playing in, which would be too cool. Now, this is the one where you're on a spaceship and you gotta try to find your way to the other side. Procedurally generated, so every time you play it's differently. And it's got the two-player co-op where someone on a different screen can either help you or hinder your playthrough, which sounds pretty darn cool. We don't have any kind of release date yet, but at least we got an official PlayStation. VR trailer. And now finally, before we jump in and ask Frank, earlier today, Impulse Gear did an AMA on Reddit. I'll link it in the description if you want to check it out. But the biggest thing that I personally pulled from that is somebody asked about DLC. I mean, why wouldn't they? And what they said is we can't say anything right now, but the team is working on something we can't wait to tell you about. So that means they're working on DLC. I hope that it's PvP. I hope that it's four-player co-op. I, I, let me know what you guys think it should be in the description. I can't wait to check it out. Now, on to everybody's favorite ass, Frank. And first up, Silverado Gaming. I say, Frank, why don't we get the, the aim controller for Brookhaven? Now, Silverado, we're getting that baby Jones 6, which is right around the corner. I already got that game. I can't wait to check it out with the aim. All right, CAFC 101 asks, hey Frank, what's your favorite beer? Now, CAFC, buddy, I don't drink. I grew up in a restaurant, seen drunks my whole life just fall on their floor. I mean, 50-year-old drunks, 40-year-old drunks, 80-year-old drunks, and I really don't want to be that guy. I drank a 40 or two when I was in college just to be a G, but hey, other than that, your boy Frankie is pretty much a teetotaler. And finally, Arian Van Stralen, I say, Frank, can you play this game with randos? He's talking about Bridge Crew, and yes, buddy, you can. 
All you gotta do is hit that quick match, and I did it earlier today, and within two seconds, I was in a full lobby. So there's definitely people on. Now, I know the game just came out, so for sure there's gonna be people on. I just hope that it has a longevity that Werewolves of Den seems to have had. All right, now thank you all for coming through. You're amazing, and before we go, if you haven't checked out Bandit 6, it's pretty fun, and more importantly, I got a giveaway, so check the link in the description. Now thank you for coming through. Like I said, you're a beautiful audience. I love you all. I don't know what I'd do without you. Honestly, you brighten my day every single day, and I hope that I have done something, at least in the tiniest little bit, to brighten yours. Now, more important than all that, if you want to stay up to date on everything PlayStation VR, and you don't mind this ugly mug, friggin' subscribe! I mean, come on! No! We're done, right? Oh shit, sorry. That was a good one.